Hey, what's going on guys? Guess what? I got another RC. And if you couldn't tell by the thumbnail image and what's sitting behind me, it is a boat. The Traxxas Spartan boat. However, this is not a new model. I ended up picking up this one used for an extremely good deal. Now, before we get into something, I just want to mention, I was not originally planning to get into boats here anytime soon. Uh, it wasn't going to happen until possibly next year. However, this kind of popped up out of nowhere, and I was offered it at a really good price, and I just said, you know what, since we're going to get into boating here eventually, might as well start off with the one that I've always wanted to get anyways. So, yes, you guys, we have the Traxxas Spartan in here. Now, I know this is not a new model by any means. Traxxas already came out with the M41 recently, which is a catamaran-style boat where this is a V-style hull, basically, I should be saying. So why am I doing, why am I showing you guys this? Well, I'm really not. I'm, I'm showing you guys the boat a little bit and showing you what I've done to it and what you guys can expect to see on the first running video. However, I figured I'd just show this up here because it came with a box and it's really cool to see a box, right? You guys love to see boxes. <laughs> but... Like I said, this is actually an older model. This isn't even the newer model with the new TQI radio system. This is the old style with the flip-up antenna. But it's still the 2.4 gigahertz system, which is awesome. But I figured we'll just chat about this real quick for those of you that may not have seen the Spartan. I know I have a lot of new guys that enter into the RC hobby uh, that watch my show that may not even know about this boat. Um, I get guys in at the hobby store all the time. They're like, whoa, dude, check out that Traxxas Spartan. I'm like, yeah, that's been out for a couple of years now, but they never saw it before. So let's just do a quick talk over this and then we'll show you guys it. We're not doing a real unboxing today, but this is a 36 inch deep V brushless boat. So it's got a brushless motor in it, single prop design. It is capable of doing 50 plus miles an hour with a 6S LiPo setup. Now, you don't actually run 6S LiPos in it. You run either two 2Ss to make a 4S setup or two 3Ss to make a 6S setup. Runs it in a parallel system to the ESC versus a series where you would actually get a longer run time. If that doesn't make sense, uh, I'll post some links about wiring diagrams and all that down below in the description box for you. But anyways, it comes with a Castle brushless system. Uh, it's a VXL 6S Marine ESC and a 540XL brushless motor. It comes with the old style TQ 2.4 gigahertz radio system. Like I said, this is not the newer version. So the newer version does have the better electronics in it from Traxxas. This is an old model, okay? Uh, all aluminum parts in the rear. And this model came, came with uh, two 7-cell NIM battery packs. However, because it was used, I didn't even get the battery packs, which is fine because I have plenty of LiPos to run this all day long. So, not worried about it. Um, with the NIMs, you can expect to get about 30 miles an hour max speed. With the LiPos, you can get 50 or higher. And then tuning and adjustments and upgrades and stuff, you can even go faster than that. Now, before I show you guys the boat here, I've already been asked a couple times because I posted this uh, picture of the boat on social media. Uh, you guys have been asking, how come I didn't get the new Traxxas M41? Well, there's really three reasons why I didn't. One is this was used, I got it at an extremely good price, basically less than half of a new Traxxas M41 boat. Uh, so that was the biggest reason is just price. I, I picked this up. Two, I've always wanted the Spartan. Always. I just... When I saw it, I'm like, that's the first boat I want to get. I just fell in love with the look of it, uh, the way it rode on the water. I just loved it. And the third comes down to a comparison between both. Now, the Spartan will actually go faster than the M41. And even Traxxas has mentioned that, that the Spartan is still faster out of the box than the M41. However, the M41 actually can handle better than the Spartan. But of course, with upgrades and everything like that, you can make the Spartan certainly handle better and so forth. But more for, I was looking for speed on this one. So that was another reason why I wanted, I still wanted to go with the Spartan. Now, don't get me wrong. I want to get the Traxxas M41 eventually. Uh, but for now, this is what we're starting off with. So enough about that. 
since we don't need the box anymore. That was a little louder than anticipated. But there she is, guys. The Traxxas Spartan. The old style. And like I had mentioned, it is the old style. Flip up antenna. <laughs> This still works fine, I'm not worried about it. Eventually I will get a new Spectrum receiver so I can hook it up to my main controller. Uh, but for now, this will work fine for a few runs. I'm not worried about it. It's a great little setup. I actually found this style controller to be a little more durable and rugged than the new style controllers. I see a lot of guys coming in with those controllers and they just don't always work. But not saying that they're completely bad or anything like that, just, you know, stock controllers aren't always the greatest. But in comparison, I've always liked this style. It just seems better. Just, I like the feel of it. Though this brace could always go. Anyways, like I mentioned, it's 36 inches on the hull. Um, obviously a little bit longer because of the prop and everything in the back. Now, when I got this and I opened it up, I, I saw pictures of it first and I'm like, oh yeah, it looks awesome. I opened it up and the whole thing was actually covered with like a yellow powder. I don't even know what it was. So it took me like two, three hours to clean this whole thing up. But afterwards I decided to make it shine a little bit better because the, the graphics on here had a little bit of a dull fade to them. So I put a light coat of car wax on it. Now, a lot of guys will actually put car wax or any kind of wax right on the underside of the hull here, um, mostly to allow it to glide better over the water. Now I just decided to do a once over on the whole boat just to make it look better. Uh, you know what, let me just bring the camera up closer and we'll show you guys what I mean. So, like I had said, I waxed the whole boat. You guys can see the nice glare that's going through that. You couldn't even see that glare for the most part before I put a light coat of wax on it. Uh, now. I have heard some guys have put wax on these, uh, the hull here, and it's actually done a little damage to the graphics. However, I've had the wax on for you know a couple of days now. I've even done a quick test in the water to make sure there was no damage to the hull, there was no leaks, uh, and, and the graphics seem perfectly fine, and I'm not concerned about it. For those of you wondering what I put on for car wax, it's the same stuff I actually use on my truck. Canuba cleaner wax made by Turtle Wax, nothing special, but it's some basic good stuff, and that's what I used on this. Now, of course, it had a few little dings on the graphics, so actually what I did is I took a Sharpie and uh, matched the color and just filled in some of the white spots, because underneath the graphics is a clear hull, I mean a white hull. So, that's that for the body. Now, in the back side, what have I done? Not really much, except I did add some new water cooling tubing, which is actually just nitro fuel tubing. Same stuff, it works great. Um, plus you can color customize it, and I think the green just looks awesome because it just adds another, you know, it, I mean, just having the green, it's gotta add another 50 horsepower to this motor. Not lying. I am totally lying. <laughs> no, seriously, don't believe that, it's just, for color um, <laughs> but the uh, the one thing that I noticed when I got this is it didn't have the original prop now to be perfectly honest I have no idea what the actual prop size is on this I don't know anything about it if you guys maybe recognize this prop feel free to comment in the box below um, but it was put on before I even got this pretty much everything else is stock the only other thing that I did to this was the uh, drive strut here. I actually replaced that because the original one has like a copper or brass bushings inside of it and I swapped that out for Traxxas's upgraded one with the ball bearings in it. So it's certainly a lot smoother than it was before. Now I even pulled out the main shaft out of this and greased that all up. I used uh, cow utter butter for all of my greasing because I absolutely love that stuff. All right, so taking a look on the inside here, as you guys can see, everything is completely stock. We have the 540 sized brushless motor right up front here. And uh, let me just get these little guys out of the way so you can see better. Uh, and then it goes right into the drive, drive shaft 
whatever you want to call it, the main shaft for the prop, which rides underneath all of the electronics here. Now this whole tray will actually pop completely out once you've disconnected the prop off of it and you've taken off the two bolts here, which makes working on any of the electronics easy if you ever needed to take them out. Uh, we have the Castle ESC right here in the middle, big guy. And then of course the receiver and the steering servo in the back. Now I did go ahead and replace the Traxxas connectors because honestly I am not a fan of Traxxas connectors. They're just a pain to solder. So I put on what I like to use which are Deans and this is that parallel setup I was telling you about. Basically like a looping action. So it connects both batteries to combine them to make a 6S or 4S setup for the extreme power. Again the tubing here for the water cooling goes into the ESC out of the ESC into the motor into the rubber grommet and then out of the motor and through the little side port here. Again I just went with green because I think that looks cool on this. Uh, but before it was all rotted away and everything like that. The only other thing that I've done to this since getting it is I've replaced the bushings in the back uh, because this one was torn and this one was a little deformed so I replaced that. You guys will also notice, don't worry about that, that, <laughs> yeah, don't ever worry about anything on my show if it looks kind of weird. It's just the way things are. <laughs> but the last thing you guys will notice is this strip of foam. Now I decided to try something. Now whether or not it's actually going to work, we'll find out when we bring it out. Um, I'm not worried if it doesn't work I can always take it back out but what this little foam strip is actually from a full-size car when I used to work at a my local Honda dealership I was a parts guy and a technician there as well over eight years and inside the door panels you would find this foam strip and it did exactly what I want it to do on this it would protect the inside of the door normally from having any water or moisture come through into the inner components so I actually, I had one of these left over from a car I had worked on many years ago. And I figured, you know what, this might be a great idea to try it. So I lined the whole edge of it with the foam. Like I said, whether or not it actually works, we'll find out. Well, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you guys an overview of the boat a little bit here. And show you kind of what I've done since I've got it. Um, it needed very little and to be honest working on boats now this is the first time I'm working on a boat this is my first real RC boat uh, I've had the Radio Shack and Toys R Us brands before and they are just boring I mean seriously those RC's actually make you regret ever wanting to get into RC sometimes depending on what it is I've had some good luck with those ones in the very far past but nowadays it's just Let's buy it to have some fun real quick because it's just going to break and the battery's going to die and you can never really get the same power out of it ever again. But that's another story for another time. So this is my first real RC boat and I'm really excited about it. I can't wait to take this thing out. Um, Brett recently just picked up a boat. He's got a little recoil so we're going to have some fun with that eventually as well. Uh, so you guys are going to see a lot more of this especially next year. Uh, I do plan on doing a few upgrades to it, you know, trim tabs and so forth. I know Hot Racing's got some cool stuff out there, so we'll eventually get into doing all that. Maybe changing out the motor if it ever comes down to it, we'll see. Uh, we're definitely going to do some water cooling upgrades. I've been doing a lot of research on it uh, as far as what you can do to this. So we'll see how things go. All right, guys, so if you have any questions um, about anything that I've done or what we're planning on doing to this, uh, feel free to leave them in the comment box below. I do plan on showing you guys the upgrades as they happen. We'll do kind of updates periodically when I get around to doing the upgrades. Otherwise, we're just going to have some fun running this through the water. Where I live, we have thousands of lakes, literally thousands of lakes. So there's a, a numerous amount of places that I can go and run this thing. Uh, which is awesome. It'll certainly add a lot more to the videos by having different locations for you guys to watch and enjoy. So that's it. Like I said, got any questions, let me know. I'll put uh, quite a bit of information about the boat itself in the description box. I'll even put what I've done to it and kind of where we're planning on going with it. Uh, and that's it. We're going to go charge up some batteries and go take this thing out because it is a beautiful day. So, 
That's it for now. I'll see you guys later on the next RC Overload. Oh, wait. Battery charger is this way. <laughs>